it all started with the idea that uh, a majority of the world population, and we are talking about 90% uh, of the world's population, is not being reached or addressed by cutting edge technologies and research taking place uh, in developing advanced technologies. And so we made a case um, to National Science Foundation. It stands for Research in Materials and Manufacturing for Extreme Affordability. And we collaborated with um, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers and IEEE, which is the Institute for Electrical and Electronics Engineers. How could we frame research in a way that really addresses the growing population of the world, which still needs to see the benefits of these advanced technologies. I think the workshop is really a beginning. We're going to make a report uh, and a case to the NSF. But beyond that, we have already joined hands with um, engineeringforchange.org. There are groups of people already working on a variety of topics that came out of the workshop. So I think uh, the workshop served as a way to energize, line up, and connect uh, these people, so we are already seeing projects come out of it. So here we had a very rich diversity of people who could come together and actually work with each other to address what are the opportunities, what are the barriers, what could we do together, and how do we make a case to the National Science Foundation and other funding agencies around the, the country and the world to change the paradigm of research and development, of course that follows research.